all right hey what's going on guys how do you do it's your boy gray here and welcome back to the channel ladies and gentlemen we do this every single year and guys this year is no different let's get into today's video i don't want to i don't want to spend too much time on this intro first day beginners tips and tricks for call of duty vanguard before we get into it just want to let you guys know i am playing on the ps5 so a lot of these uh details when it comes to settings are going to be catered more towards console players just an fyi everything else is pretty relative to everybody all, all platforms so here we go well, let's start things off here with probably one of the most important things when playing call of duty and that is settings and i'm going to be uploading an entire like settings video because right now this the footage that you're seeing is footage that i captured from the beta and i'm sure they're going to be adding a bunch more like official settings in the game so expect a full settings video once the game releases and i adjust everything expect that soon let's go over some of the pinpoints here some of the main things that i want to focus on so first up i think the one of the main things is sensitivity now this is completely user preference everybody has their own sensitivity that they like to work with i believe during the beta i think i was running a 6.6 uh but that can change and you know you can up that or you can lower that depending on your own specific preference and play style when it comes to ADS sensitivity multiplier, uh, there's a bunch of options there, but I, I guess the one that I really focus on, the one that I always adjust is the low zoom multiplier. I usually drop that down to around the 80s, the 0 .80, 0 .85, 0 .75 in some cases. Uh, this is all personal preference again, guys, so just figure it out for yourselves, whatever works best for you. Um, go for it. I will break down my entire sensitivity and multipliers and all that low zoom, high zoom, two times, uh, like all of that. I'll uh, I'll make a video like when I release my full video of my settings, uh, you guys can see exactly how I, I have adjusted all of that. I'm going to be going over just the general settings that I feel like everybody, especially console players that you guys should be adjusting. I believe up next would be the uh, button layout preset uh, for boots in the ground games. I would honestly recommend tactical button layout. Use whatever you feel, you know, whatever you feel comfortable using. But I've always used tactical for, for just me. Like I, I've been using tactical for boots on the ground games for the last like five, six years. Next up here, guys, aim response curve type. I would honestly recommend that you guys do your own testing when it comes to this to see what you feel is best for you i've always done my testing and for me i always felt that my shot was much better with the linear aim response curve type that's just what works for me i would recommend it for you guys but again it's all personal preference at the end of the day go into a custom match play against some bots for a couple minutes try different uh aim response curve types See whatever feels more comfortable for you next up controller vibration i would really truly recommend that you remove all vibrations any vibrations that come out of your controller i would turn all of that stuff off especially on the ps5 that has the adaptive triggers turn all of that stuff off for multiplayer at least turn that off for multiplayer when it comes to target aim assist i would highly recommend just leaving it at the default the vanguard aim assist um until we hear word from people like uh, j god and exclusive ace uh they usually recommend just leaving it default but until we hear differently from one of these guys who do extensive uh testing on these things uh, i would just leave it as default until otherwise told by by them Next up here, guys, we're looking at the ADS Sense Multiplier. Uh, this is another thing that I, again, personal preference. A lot of these things come down to just the way that you like to run the game, how your controller reacts and all that stuff, uh, you know, monitor that you're using and all, all of that. It, it just comes down to different factors. So you just got to look at these settings for yourselves one at a time. Me personally, I dropped that down to a 0.80. Now, one of the biggest things that they've added in the last couple of years in Call of Duty is the dead zone settings. Now, this is 100% user preference. Uh, every controller is pretty different. I mean, I, I used to play on PS4 and my dead zone was at like an 8. And then I recently got my PS5 controller with the uh, paddles in the back, the aim controller. I recently got this controller here and I was able to play with my dead zone, honestly, on zero or at one and it would not move. Again, guys, this is something that is very crucial and I highly recommend just go into a custom game, aim at the wall and adjust your dead zone settings until your controller doesn't 
drift at all I recommend starting on like a five and you know working your way up or working your way down until you see that your controller is not drifting in any in any side now the l2 and r2 might be a little different i would recommend just dropping that all the way down to zero you know just drop drop those things all the way down to zero but when it comes to your left and right sticks uh, make sure you fine tune that for yourself when it comes to the graphics tab here you know when it comes to stuff like brightness uh, i would probably just leave all of that stuff just as is on the 50 percent if you want to increase it i typically tend to increase it about five percent so if it's on 50 i'll increase it up to 55 i didn't really do that this year with vanguard um but that's again that's all preference right there at the end of the day um if if you're on playstation 5 and you can manage to get that 120 hertz refresh rate by all means go for it i was trying to get it on mine unfortunately there are something wrong with the connection uh whether it's from my monitor to the elgato i don't know what it is i'm still trying to figure it out i can't get the 120 hertz i hope that i can figure it out at some point and get that because that's that's really good when it comes to color customization uh look i will say i do like to change my colors uh in the game i like to choose colors that will really pop and stand out on the field during cold war every single time that i would stream i would get at least once or twice a stream i would get somebody asking me yo gray how did you change your colors um, I'm gonna make a specific video showing you guys how to adjust your colors and all that stuff So be on the lookout for that video as well, but you guys can definitely change your colors uh, In settings and you can select colors that really pop out on the screen So that way like if an enemy is like kind of far you'll still see be able to see it uh, on your screen So keep that in mind camera movement You want to drop that down to at least 50% where it says least on here drop that down all the way motion blur turn all of that motion blur stuff off you do not want that in multiplayer i promise you depth of field i guess that's this is all preference at the end of the day i would recommend just turning that off during the beta we did not have an fov slider but they did say they did confirm that we were going to get one when the game released officially i believe the default field of view is set to either 60 or 80 uh i would highly recommend you guys raise that up raise that up try you know go as high as you possibly can see if you feel comfortable with that fov and if you don't work your way down me personally i feel really comfortable around the 100 to 105 110 fov that's just how i feel comfortable playing i think one of the other options is something called affected uh make sure that you have that on as well make sure that you have that if that's one of the settings uh again i'm recording this before the game actually releases but if i remember correctly i think it's like an option that says affected uh make sure that's on next up for game audio um this is all really personal preference here i would honestly recommend lowering the dialogue volume you can lower that don't lower it all the way because you still need to hear uh you know if people are shouting out stuff and if you know to hear what the announcer has to say and all that stuff uh and when they call in air streaks and all that you still want to hear all of that but it can be a bit loud so i would honestly recommend dropping the volume on that music volume you can turn that all the way down if you want you don't necessarily need that music volume especially if you're a content creator when it comes to like audio mix i would honestly recommend headphones that's the one that i felt the best when i was playing the beta i'm assuming maybe they'll add some more you know when the game officially really a few more options uh when that does drop like i said i will upload a, a settings video so be on the lookout for that if that changes but i was using headphones during the beta one of the last things i want to touch on here for this for just the general settings is in the telemetry i think that's what it's called uh, i would recommend the server latency and your packet loss i would recommend you guys turn that on or are shown like have it have the option be shown so so that it appears in the top left hand corner of your screen and having that on is really important because you could tell like when you're when you lose pack when you have packet loss when your server is uh when your ping is really low and all that stuff that's really that's really good information to have on the screen all right let's talk about combat pacing here folks let's say you're about to jump into a game and you want to play some uh, we'll just say team deathmatch right uh vanguard will actually give you four different options of combat pacing now you have all you can get all uh you can get uh tactical you can get assault or you can get blitz so combat pacing just defines the number of players that are in your session in your match if i remember correctly and i could be wrong here because i'm just going off of memory if i remember correctly tactical is between uh is is about six players six v six uh, assault i believe is like 10 v 10 or 12 v 12 and blitz is like 25 versus 25 or uh, 20 versus 20 uh stuff like that me personally guys i felt the best running 
assault on small maps assault is very fast paced a lot of action a lot of chaos uh, on bigger maps assault felt very balanced for the most part um it wasn't like it wasn't too too much i mean i know for some maps blitz was just a it was nuts it was just a madhouse there was no it was like no coordinating in those maps like it was just madness and then on other maps playing tactical it was the slowest experience in the world it was so slow it was barely any action um to each their own at the end of the day i personally felt like assault was the best balanced one to to run might be wondering like ray this is my first time playing this game what weapons should i be focused on at launch like what guns should i use at launch i'm not gonna lie to you guys man a lot can change from the beta to when the game officially releases i would recommend trying out different guns at the start to see what you feel most comfortable with what you feel like you are rocking with the best um i know during the beta i loved loved the mp40 and i tend and I, I intend on rocking that mp40 when the game comes out but i hope that they didn't nerf it into the ground sometimes that happens for the most part assault rifles were pretty balanced smgs were pretty balanced as well i'll tell you this man sniping sniping in vanguard was one of the most satisfying things that i experienced in a long time ever since i think it's been it hasn't been that satisfying for me since cod world war ii and even modern warfare 2019 i had a blast sniping in that game uh sniping in vanguard was really fun as well so give that a go uh lmgs are really really powerful really really uh balanced as far as output damage and uh recoil control and accuracy all of that lmgs are great for that uh but they are slow because there are bigger guns so just keep that in mind as well depending on the map when it comes to class setups listen man there are 10 attachments that you can use on every single weapon in the game uh that's a lot to go through so I, I would just recommend as you unlock different attachments read what they do if it's something that you feel like you would like on your weapon attach it see if it works out if it doesn't remove that try different things uh i will try my best throughout the year to bring you guys like what i'm using my personal best class setups for these weapons so be on the lookout for all of that content as well when it comes to the perk system i mean they even added dead silence as a full-time perk or ninja as a full-time perk so uh that's something new that we didn't even have access to during the uh, beta but i can tell you that perk one that tier one perk one slot is gonna be jam-packed with really good perks. So choose wisely there. For perk number two, I don't know if this is still gonna be a thing for perk number two, but I think one of the perks that people use the most was that radar perk because it gave you the classic mini map when it comes to field upgrades honestly the three that i would recommend that you guys use and you know unless they make some changes for, at the release date but i would honestly recommend uh the armor plates that's a, that was a really good one that a lot of people were using uh, i would recommend dead silence because not only does dead silence give you the no footstep audio but it also gives you the ghost ability while it's active so you won't appear on the mini map while that's active i think that's really good as well um and also the uh what's it called the field mic the field mic the thing that gives you the uav the pulsing uav a lot of people were rocking that as well to kind of let you know when enemies were approaching in the vicinity so keep that in mind those are three great field upgrades to use got two more topics that i want to touch on in this first day beginners tips video stuff that i feel like everybody should know so let's talk about the operators now operators are all purely cosmetics they don't have special abilities or anything like that but what they do have is they have specific weapons if you use a specific operator with the weapon that the operator enjoys using or it's like its main weapon of choice for example i forgot her name but there is an there's an operator a female operator who is no who is a sniper that is her weapon of choice if you use her and you use a sniper you actually get bonus xp uh because you're using her favorite weapon take a look at the operators learn about what weapons they prefer using and when you're using those operators use those weapons and you'll actually get a bonus xp score one of the last things i want to talk to you guys here which i personally believe it's one of one of the most crucial things to every specific call of duty and that is actual pacing game play pacing play style momentum uh how should you be playing this game modern warfare 2019 introduced a very slow pace kind of a game style it was a very guns up call of duty and what i mean by guns up call of duty is that you do not want to get caught 
coming off of a sprint. You want to be ready with your weapon up. You want to be ready to engage if somebody turns a corner or if somebody's coming around a specific spot that you are prepared for. Last thing you want to do is get caught off a sprint here, man. So when it comes to pacing, having map awareness and map knowledge, I think it's going to be one of the best things that you can do as a player. Learning these maps uh, and understanding the specific spots where p players, people like to go, where players like to camp, the power positions that people like to go to, getting to those spots and understanding layouts of every possible corner, every possible head glitch that people can approach you from. I hope that makes sense to you guys, man, because Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 kind of brought that play style. I think that's going to carry over in Vanguard. I mean, in Cold War, it wasn't really like that. In, Cold, in Black Ops Cold War, you could just run and gun. It was fast paced. It was aggressive. Uh, you can snap on people. Sprint out time wasn't really necessarily a big factor because you could put attachments that will help with that. Uh, but I think Vanguard is going to go in the same steps as Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. Uh, so just keep that in mind, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our first day beginner tips and tricks uh, video here for Call of Duty Vanguard. I wish you all the best of luck uh, this year with Vanguard. I honestly, I hope that it's going to be a, a year full of just great content fun gameplay maps and all of that stuff weapons dlc events battle passes and all that stuff listen i'm gonna be covering as much as i can i'm talking bundles new weapons dlc content i'm even gonna try and get into warzone for you guys when the new map drops the warzone pacific so be on the lookout for more warzone content down the road uh live streams videos best class setups i mean listen i'm gonna try my best to get you guys as much content as i can this year ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching today's video if you haven't done so already i'd really appreciate it if you guys could drop a like on today's video subscribe to the channel stick around you guys click on that sub button turn on notifications and i look forward to seeing you guys throughout the year any comments questions concerns let me know in the comment section below i will try my best to get back to as many people as i can a lot more content coming up on the way give us a follow on our social media platforms to stay connected you can find the link to everything in the description below uh, give us a follow over on our twitch channel as well we are going to be streaming on twitch a bunch this year so be on the lookout link in the description below to our twitch channel if you guys are ever interested in any control freak products you can use code gray for 10% off your purchase. Link to Control Freak's website in the description below. I'm going to call it there for me today, you guys. Be on the lookout for more content on the way. Till the next one, my name is Gray. Thank you so much. Peace.